for all your garage door needs. The best garage doors from the best professionals at the absolute best price. To take advantage of this special summer deal, grab your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say Mesa Garage Doors. On your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say Mesa Garage Doors. Oh, not to be a backseat driver, but if you need to hire great people fast, you need Indeed. Sponsor a job, and you'll immediately get a list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. More at Indeed.com slash credit. Looking for your next investment? Want to cash out of stock market risk and volatility? Here are eight reasons to consider NRIA's proven real estate development fund. Monthly cash flow payouts of 10% annualized and bonuses to 21% targeted. We strategically locate in lower risk, high demand areas people are moving to. New construction is short on supply. Real estate affords diversification and safety from stock market risk and volatility. We have substantial property assets selling out every month supporting your investment. Our short and long term strategy provides for steady returns today and major upside targets. Our buildings are socially responsible, environmentally friendly, and pandemic hardened. We are an industry leader with a 15-year proven track record. Hedge against inflation and receive steady cash flow. Start your due diligence at NRIA.net or call 800-800-1414. That's 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA private placement number and Read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. Learn more at NRIA.net. There was a daddy long legs in the cub. And he's screaming. He wants me to come. I'm like, what? Get it. Get it. Come on, really? Well, yeah, it's wrong with this guy. Spiders, I hate so much. I make sure they're extra smushed. John and Ken. We gave it, too. Want to make sure they don't reincarnate and come back. On KFI. <laughs> heat wave uh, it's going to get hot 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 but in the end you know this is summertime uh, here in uh, southern california so it's going to be particularly bad uh and after i met bd uh who uh, broke in remember deliverance squeal like a pig i'll never forget that line uh he has died at 83 quite the actor uh, i've often talked about israeli politics and how crazy israeli politics are and why is that? Because there aren't two major parties like we have here, Republicans and the Democrats. There, there are dozens of parties. And parties just spring up. And some of them uh, actually become powerhouses. And what ended up happening is uh, we had a coal, and it's always a coalition. Whoever the prime minister is has to cobble together different parties that have different interests and say if you join my coalition I'll give you uh, the housing cabinet post and if you over there join uh, my coalition I'll give you the transportation cabinetry and what ended up happening is exactly that and you had a group of uh, parties that got together and uh, ousted Netanyahu and for personal reasons interestingly enough not for political reasons. They just hated Netanyahu as an individual. Netanyahu, Netanyahu is a hard liar. And the new prime minister, Natali Bennett, is more of a hard liar. So we're not talking politics here. Netanyahu is under indictment. And of course, he calls it fake news. Uh, he has been charged with all kinds of corruption. He says that's a political, quote, witch hunt. Where do you think he got those uh, terms? And this is a particularly weird coalition. Because you have parties from the absolute right wing, which is uh, Bennett's party, all the way, and this is the first time this has happened, to the Arab party. So imagine this. You have uh, a party that is in charge right now, a prime minister, who does not believe in two states as a solution to the Palestinian-Israeli problem, who effectively says Israel is one state and the Palestinians really don't count, and in that group is an Arab party. And so the general consensus, this can't stay together. 
especially when the whole point of this was to oust Netanyahu. Because the policy is not going to change particularly. And Netanyahu is not going out quietly. He has said he will do everything he can to uh, retain power, and he's able to do it. Certainly the mechanism is there, because uh, Bennett won by one vote. It was 60 to 59 in the Knesset. And I'll tell you something else that's just so bizarre. And that is, now imagine this happening in the United States. Part of this coalition, part of the deal when cobbling together these parties is Naftali Bennett is now the Prime Minister for two years. Then Yair Lapid, who is head of another party, becomes the Prime Minister for two years. That's the deal that was cut. And you go, how is that? Well, welcome to Israeli politics. Are things going to change? Not particularly. The United States, Joe Biden, matter of fact, Biden came out and said, working for, uh, looking forward to working with Bennett, and the United States uh, is still Israel's closest ally, and we just continue on. The big story here is Benjamin Netanyahu, prime minister for 12 years, actually for 15 years, because uh, there was a three-year lag. Quite the story. Coming up, Handle on the News, late edition, right here on KFI. Let's check in with uh, Layla Muhammad in for Jennifer. A body has been found in Joshua Tree National Park. It was found yesterday in a hiking area. The body has not been identified, but officials have called off the search for a man who had been missing since June 5th when he left 29 Palms to visit family in Riverside. Some organizations in Riverside County say they plan to push county supervisors into shifting funding away from the Sheriff's Department and into services that help people experiencing poverty poverty and systemic racism. Groups like Starting Over Incorporated have told the press enterprise they're not necessarily anti-cop, but they see a need to spend the money on helping those in need. Sheriff Chad Bianco and County DA Mike Hestrin have argued that they need more funding, especially as violent crime increases and more deputies means more coverage. A free lunch program for teens up to 18 years old starts today at select L.A. City Parks. The summer food service program aims to make sure kids in Los Angeles get nutritious lunches when school is not in session. The program will run through August 9th. Hotels are reportedly thinking daily room cleanings need to go. According to the Washington Post, hotels have been cutting costs since the pandemic broke out, and some changes might be here for good. Some hotels have reportedly experimented with different business models through the pandemic and are now asking if customers are okay if services like housekeeping weren't every day. The changes were meant to help save money, and the shift might mean a smaller workforce in the future. Claudia Stefania, KFI News. Some people are doubting the story of a lobster diver in Massachusetts who claims he was almost swallowed by a humpback whale. Michael Packer says when it happened last Friday, he felt like he had been hit by a Mack truck. That was like, did I just get bit by a shark or no, it's not a shark. I'm in a whale's mouth. Yeah, he says he was in the whale's mouth for about 30 seconds before it spat him out. He says he only has a dislocated knee, but one doctor who spoke to the New York Post says Packard would have had far worse injuries if he really ended up in the whale's mouth. <laughs> Maybe he's reading too many children's books. Uh, we have a wreck on the uh, 101. Uh, I'm just going to do that. I forgot to send you an email. So I'm going to uh, eat that and uh, go to Diamond Bar on the 60 West End just after 11. It's a wreck that takes away the carpool lane, and your jam-up begins at the 57. Hey, a in the sky is sponsored by entry attorney SuperwomanSuperLawyer.com. Jeff Baugh is clearing the 101. <laughs> you don't have to eat that. I'll follow up for you. you have yes, to. Exactly. Well, Robin was trying to warn you about this, and we just came up here. And that was a little good news. Now, this is coming uh, through downtown Los Angeles to the full level. North one one before the floor level was a problem that's all gone now now you're dealing with the usual unfortunately the usual stuff uh the north 101 from about fourth street before you go through the the gopher hole tunnel and then the west end merging with the north 101 all that is just stop and stop again once you get past the floor level and up to right echo park finally you'll start moving uh in towards the san fernando valley if you going that far south 101 it's up morning drive slow from sunset boulevard down uh the santa monica freeway another given here pretty much well, 
little bit to the east of uh, uh, about Crenshaw. Crenshaw ball went out through about Robertson. That'll be the slowest section for it. The eastbound side, though, coming off PCH, that at least looking pretty good. Gets a little slow in Vermont. Injured in an accident, visit superwoman, superlawyer.com. Jeff Fogg, KFI in the sky. Wrecking Huntington Beach on the 405 South of Beach Boulevard. Center divider, buddy, it's tough from Westminster Ave. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robin Banks. The Dodgers have inched closer to reclaiming the top spot in the NL West after yesterday's game against the Texas Rangers. Mookie Betts scored the first run on a Gavin Lux double and then added another all by himself. He swings and a fly ball to right field. It's deep. Gallo going back to the wall. It's gone. A home run. And the Dodgers take a 2 nothing lead for Betts' seventh home run of the year. Final score, Dodgers 5, Rangers 3. And the boys in blue get the Phillies tonight at 7-10, live on AM570 LA Sports and in HD through the iHeartRadio app. Tony Gonsolin is set to start. The Angels handed a 10-3 route to the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now they're at the Oakland A's tonight with Dylan Bundy on the mound. Start time, 6:40. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. All right, maybe you've been a big fan of wearing a face mask. Of course, you had to. So, um, yeah, missing, broken teeth, you really didn't have to worry about it because you were wearing that mask. Well, uh, that's done. And so now what do you do? We're back to your mouth looking absolutely god-awful, horrible. And how about changing your life? Let's go back to new permanent teeth done in a day by Dr. Cunny while you sleep. He's been doing this for 52 years. And you can take your mask off and just smile. As a matter of fact, people are going to go, my God, you look great. Because uh, those new permanent teeth feel and look just like natural teeth. You'll never have dentures again. Matter of fact, you'll never have a dental procedure again. So uh, right now, uh, free appointment, exam, x-ray, CT scan worth $1,500. And uh, a free seminar, outdoor seminar, this Saturday in Montclair. You meet the patients. You'll learn about the new permanent teeth, limited seating outdoors with social distancing. So go to cunningdental.com, 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE. Southland weather from KFI, mostly sunny skies today with highs in the 80s for the LA Basin, Inland OC, and the mountains. Triple digits for the valleys, IE and high desert, 70s along the coast. We lead local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Layla Muhammad. After all the time inside our homes this past year, the time is now to get outdoors. The all know Velo Airlines is inspiring travel with flights starting as low as $19. Experience incredible wine tasting to national parks to epic outdoor adventures at the West's most beautiful destination. With $19 fares, why not be spontaneous? Visit AvelloAir.com. That's AvelloAir.com and book your flight today. Avello Airlines. Surprisingly low fares, refreshingly smooth travel. AvelloAir.com. Restrictions may apply. Visit AvelloAir.com for details. Small business owners know cutting costs without cutting quality is tough. How do you trim expenses without hurting your business? Easy. Get Spectrum Business. Call 888-489-2212. Switch to Spectrum Business and you can get the best internet and phone services for half of what you're paying today. Cutting costs can be easy when you get Spectrum Business. Just call 888-489-2212. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Staples Connect helps your business grow with custom printed sales and marketing materials. And right now, get $10 off signs, banners, or posters when you spend $50 or more. Offer N73 valid in-store and online. Visit staples.com slash signage for details. Staples Connect, the working and learning store. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. The first step toward your new kitchen should be a free consult with my friends at the kitchen store. More than 50 years and still, the kitchen store is the place for kitchen cabinets. Dial 310 Kitchen or go to 310kitchen.com. Hi, this is Larry Miller from Sit and Sleep. You know, there's a lot that's new at Sit and Sleep. Yeah, like me. Hi, I'm Drew Miller, Larry's son, and I'm proud to be the third generation of the Miller family to work at Sit and Sleep. Only Sit and Sleep has bed match that scientifically recommends the right mattress for you. Plus, you can shop the way you want, in store, online, or a combination of the two. And we'll beat anyone's advertised price or your mattress is free! You still got the pipes, Dad. Thanks, son. Have a plumbing water heater issue? Call the Smell Good Plumber, 800-446-MIKE. Live and local. 
staples in your back? Uh, yeah. Yep. Big honking scar and uh, we're in this ridiculous back brace in which uh, I can't breathe. Uh, other than that, uh, why don't we move forward? What do you think? I agree. Handle on the news, late edition with Wayne Resnick and Lele in for Jennifer Jones Lee and of course uh, me. Lead story. <laughs> heat wave. We're going to have record high temperatures uh, over Southern California. Uh, and Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be the hottest. And remember, we have the drought and we have the fires. Oh, Woodland Hills, uh, according to the National Weather Service, a high of 109 on Wednesday. That would break the record for that date. No, for some reason, I remember Chatsworth and Woodland Hills uh, being much hotter if memory serves. They are usually hotter than... No, no, I understand, but I'm talking about 107 or 109 degrees. Well, that's for that date, though. That's for that date. It's oh, going to be 100. It'll date. probably be 100 in the basin. Got it. So uh, there the are differential days... differential will probably right. stay the same. So there are days when it was uh, much hotter, like, you know, 140, you know, 150 degrees. Didn't get quite, quite to that. Very close. It's hard to get uh, some good beach days in when it gets that hot, though. Because then you're like baking, you're not really enjoying, you know? Yeah, yeah wait, is, this somebody, is there somebody who thinks, oh, it's only going to be 107, I'm going to go yeah, out and enjoy the water. The I go to the beach when it's like 90s, but it does get uncomfortable. It's not as fun as when it's like, you know, upper 70s, low 80s. Yeah, I'm not a big beach fan. Well, Biden prepares to meet Putin. From Russia. First time having an encounter, but this is their a set meeting for this Wednesday, a face to face in Geneva, and uh, Putin and Biden have had you know discussions in person before. But Biden likes to tell a story about a meeting he had with Putin in 2011, where he showed him his office in Moscow, and Biden said, "Mr. Prime Minister," because Putin was Prime Minister at the time. He said, "Mr. Prime Minister, I'm looking into your eyes, and I don't think you have a soul." And he said that Putin smiled and responded, "We understand one another," because that was a joke. Because remember, George W. Bush had said he looked Putin in the eye and was able to get a sense of his soul. Yes. So he because if you just say Biden said that to Putin, it right. sounds really rude and cold. But it was more of a joke, like an inside joke, maybe. Yes. But did you see the NBC interview with Putin? I mean, nothing phases him. He's Teflon. The accusation, uh, Mr. President, people say you're a killer, and he just laughed it off. Yeah. And just, oh, I've been hearing that for a long time. And Putin may have met his match with Joe Biden. Maybe. Maybe. I think that, I don't know if he's met his match. Or Biden will, to. Biden will not um, carry his hem. I don't think that's a real phrase, but you know what I mean. But Biden's not going to suck up to him. Yeah. You know, the way that some other people have. He's what? supposed to also address these cyber attacks, although Russia said over and over, they're they're not, yeah, they're not in on it. But although yeah, Putin basically. suggested that he will extradite Russian hackers to the United States if the United States extradites Russian hackers. Although, how many Russian hackers mean, are there in the United people States? people in the United States who are hacking Russia? Yeah, as if there are any relative to what's going on in Russia. Well, for him to suggest that, maybe he knows there are some. I don't think so. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. No, that was him just saying, like, I'll do it when you never. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Well, uh, 
one person killed, two others injured after somebody drove their car into a protest. This was in the uptown neighborhood in Minneapolis. People were protesting the shooting of uh, a guy named Winston Boogie Smith Jr. Federal marshals were trying to take him in on an arrest warrant. Uh, they say he shot first. There's some controversy about that in the community. And that, so the person drove their car and caused this mayhem, and then other protesters pulled the guy out of his car. He is now in custody for being treated for injuries at the hospital. Teen commended for courageous recording. So a lot of you know the name Darnella Frazier by now. She is the uh, teenage girl at the time who recorded George Floyd's final moments on her cell phone. She was going to the store, uh, saw the arrest happening, saw him pleading for his life and started recording. And at that time, I remember she was getting death threats. People were telling her she didn't do enough to step in and stop the murder of George Floyd. Well, now she has been honored with an honorary Pulitzer Prize. You know, let me get into that for a moment. This is a young girl who brought out her phone and videoed it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. I mean, like people just do. She happened to be in that perfect angle because there were plenty of people that were videoing it. And based on that video, of course, since that was the clearest video, it exploded and the world has changed. An honorary Pulitzer Prize to a teenager who happened to bring out her phone and videoed. That's like Barack Obama winning the Nobel Peace Prize for getting elected, which is exactly what happened. You know, at what point you go, come on. You know, doesn't it denigrate the prize itself when you can do this, like the Peace Prize was denigrated? Does somebody sound jealous? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. I get what you're saying, but I think that their point is... And if you feel that there was that it was dangerous at all for her to do it, that the cops could have come after her, that she could have... I don't know, but there were a bunch of people on, there. On harassment from the police yeah, but there were for whole, having recorded it. But there it. were a whole series of people there. Why aren't they part of it? Because their videos didn't go okay, public in the way that... There you go. Did. The honorary Pulitzer. Now, this is not... When you look at Pulitzers, <coughs> for example, uh, uh, the photograph that was done by uh, Joe Rosenthal at Iwo Jima, which is now the uh, Marine uh, Memorial in Washington, where there are six soldiers are they're raising the flag. Uh, that was a professional photographer who took that photo and won a Pulitzer. That is what the Pulitzers are about. I mean, they, that's why this is an honorary. Yeah, I still it's what, really, it's it's really, honorary. I still yeah. don't buy it. It's really, it's really just an. If you think of it this way, she got a shout out. That's it. I Pulitzer. understand. Well, it's so not. the Pulitzer Committee gives her a shout out. Yeah. Honorary Pulitzer. Sure. I don't want it. Okay. Well, okay. It's not for sale. Well, I understand. You know, well, it I already, understand. And, and it already happened. So. Let's take a break. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. Today. No, that's true. There's nothing we can <laughs> do about it. All right, we'll be right back. Uh, this is KFI uh, Layla in for Jennifer. Yeah, a woman has been hit and killed when she walked into the far right lane of the 210 freeway in Glendora this morning. Uh, she was struck by a trailer attached to a semi-tractor. Emergency crews have been battling a massive fire at a chemical plant that exploded into flames in northern Illinois. This is near Rockton. It happened this morning, sent huge plumes of thick black smoke into the air. There were evacuations ordered. Uh, no word right now, any injuries. And a Pekingese dog named Wasabi has won Best in Show at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. We're checking out Trouble on the 57 next. Does it really matter who you call to tune up your air conditioner? This is Leland Smith, owner of Service Champions Plumbing, Heating, and AC, and I want you to know that all tune-ups are not created equal. Lots of companies will do what's called a cleaning check instead of an actual tune-up. It only takes a few minutes, and besides blowing off the dust, what they're really doing is checking for problems that they can charge you big money to fix. That's not a real tune-up. The Service Champions Precision Tune-Up and Professional Cleaning is designed to keep your air conditioner running at top shape for as long as possible. It takes an hour and a half and is performed by a seasoned professional that includes 26 separate operations. It's like having your air conditioner rejuvenated to factory fresh condition. And right now we're offering our Precision Tune-Up and Professional Cleaning for just $88. 
To schedule yours, call us toll-free at 833-777-7777 or online at servicechampions.com. Not to be a backseat driver, but if you need to hire great people fast, you need Indeed. Sponsor a job, and you'll immediately get a list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. More at Indeed.com slash credit. Sunny skies today with highs in the 80s to 100 in inland areas, 70s along the coast. This report brought to you by Indeed.com. Let's head to a trouble spot on the 57. Well, we're looking at Diamond Bar, and they did a little location change here because the 60 and the 57 kind of run together in this area. So now instead of the 57 at Grand, it's the 60 West right at Brea Canyon. So we've got a stalled car here. Two middle traffic lanes are blocked. You are overall sitting in traffic from the 71 with this incident. KFI in the Sky is sponsored by injury attorney, superwoman, superlawyer.com. Jeff Baum, East LA Interchange. Yeah, a little something to warn you about now. This is a Caltrans operation, one of those moving uh, sweeper trains going, uh, actually when we saw it, it was East 10 to the North 5. So kind of a dirt storm going through there, picking up a lot of dirt there in the right lanes. So it's a little slow going through. Now we're over a major problem here, getting into Buena Park. This has been working all morning long. If you just joined us, it's southbound by the Valley View. We're circling over now. What happened was there was a truck, a straight frame truck, that wound up on top of the right side guardrail. It's still there. Tow truck operators, rotators have been trying to pull it off. Right lane was blocked, it was open, and now it's blocked again. And the South 5 is really a crawl from road strands. It's still sitting on the guardrail. This is a real, This is going to be on big rig tow trucks. The, the series, I guarantee, is quite an operation. Northbound settled down a little bit. It's a little slow getting around from the 91. But after this, everybody's looking at it. After that pretty good drive up to the 605. Injured in an accident, visit superwoman, superlawyer.com. Jeff Bach, AFI in the Sky. KFI in the Sky helps get to their faster. I'm Robin Banks. This report is sponsored by iAccidentLawyer.com. iAccidentLawyer.com, born in SoCal, raised in SoCal, schooled in SoCal, work in SoCal, protect SoCal, home grow love. iAccidentLawyer, the way to go, call C-O-O, 9 oh eight one one Call the Esquire, results may vary, no guarantee. There's no better feeling than getting a great deal, like a hotel room upgrade or a free car wash with every tank of gas. Maybe unlimited chips and salsa with your burrito. And now, as an AT&T wireless customer, you can get an exclusive deal on a super fast internet experience with AT&T Fiber. Get consistently fast speed, even during peak times, and a great deal with AT&T Fiber. Learn more at att.com slash fiber offer. Limited availability in select areas based on wired connection to gateway. Restrictions apply. I want to break free. Ready to break free? Norwegian Cruise Line is back and sailing this summer. Get back in the Caribbean or take in the stunning sights in Europe. And with our robust health and safety program, you can cruise confidently. Book today and enjoy 30% off all cruises, free open bar, free airfare, and more. Visit ncl.com, call your travel advisor, or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Offer ends soon. Norwegian Cruise Line. Sail safe. Feel free. Ships registry the Bahamas and USA. Restrictions apply. Thinking of buying a house and want a really low interest rate? Owning has a special for home purchase purchases, where owning pays all your closing costs, and the rate in APR is an unheard of 1.875% for a 15-year fixed mortgage with 20% down. This is the craziest low rate for a mortgage with no closing costs that owning has ever done. 1.875% rate in APR. Heck, we're almost paying you to live in a new house. Call 8332-OWNING or go to owning.com to see if you qualify for this crazy low 1.875% rate. That's a fixed rate loan at 1.875% with no closing costs. Call 8332-OWNING now because 1.875 could go away at any time. NMLS 2611, licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, subject to credit approval. Offer assumes the use of lender's choice as pro title services. Call 8332-OWNING. 8358 for terms and conditions. That's 8332-OWNING or owning.com. 8332-OWNING or owning.com. Masks don't slow us down. They keep us moving from the store to the park for pickup game. At the movie. Or at the gym. 
Keep wearing a snug fitting mask with multiple cloth layers. Together, we can end this pandemic. Visit COVID19.ca.gov today to learn more. Brought to you by the Center at Sierra Health Foundation. Want to know the secret to making sure everything at Ralph's is fresh? Secret shoppers. Spies we hire to expertly inspect our produce department in every store. Their mission is to ensure we have the freshest bananas, lettuce, and more. Now that the secret is out, you know what else is? Tomatoes that are fresher than fresh. Ralph's. Fresh for everyone. Now it's even easier to save on your favorites with delivery and free pickup. Just visit Ralph's.com or the app today. Restrictions apply. Ralph's. Fresh for everyone. Let's face it, painting your house is a pain in there. You know what? It's time consuming, it's expensive, and what's worse, you have to repaint every few years because nowadays paint is basically just colored water. Hi, I'm Steve, creator of Deluxe Life Coat. We're here to take the pain out of painting. Deluxe Life Coat is a revolutionary exterior coating that comes in any color you like. It's 20 times thicker than paint. More importantly, it's a permanent solution to the never-ending cycle of painting and repainting. And Deluxe Life Coat has the best lifetime warranty in the industry. It covers flaking, peeling, and yes, even cracking. What paint can say that? Let's take the paint out of painting, dial pound 250, and save Life Coat. The first 10 callers today to dial pound 250 and save Life Coat will get 20% off and pay no interest for two years. Get in now. Dial pound 250 and say life coat. Certain terms and conditions apply. CSLB number 1052855. Now, another iHeartRadio COVID-19 vaccine update. There's a renewed push to get more Americans vaccinated this month as rates fall from the spring peak. I would say every shot and every arm is a win because that person is now safe and protected from getting COVID-19. CDC Director Rosella Lensky is urging parents to vaccinate teens. It's important young adults get vaccinated. Vaccine is safe and effective. Get the latest vaccine info now at cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Portions of the following program will be recorded. You need somebody and the first thing you talk about is your vaccine status. I mean, you gotta say something for your 70s. But if you run into somebody you're attracted to and then they say, you know, I haven't been vaccinated yet, well, I'm taillight. Wow, that's very hip of you there. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm under the bimble. The Tim Conway Jr. show. The bimble, whatever that is. What's that? What's that? Is that one on your own phone? Rumble. On KFI. Hey, we're back. Uh, Bill Handel, Morning Crew. Monday, June 14th, uh, we continue. Actually, we finish up Handel on the News Late Edition. Wayne Resnick, uh, Layla in for Jennifer this week and me. Oh, Delta Airlines really has a problem with unruly passengers. Sorry, click that play. Thank you, John. Uh, and this time it was one of their own. It was an off-duty Delta employee who got on the intercom and said some disturbing things. Apparently said something about he was going to take the plane down. So then a couple of minutes later, the captain gets on and calls for all able bodies men to come to the front of the plane to restrain this guy. And they did. Which they did, and he's in custody. And it's the third time in two weeks that a Delta flight out of LAX has had a problem. Because last week, uh, there, there was a flight to Detroit that had to divert because some passenger was unruly. And right before that, Another flight out of L.A., somebody tried to break into the cockpit in the middle of the flight and yeah, was yeah. arrested. And that's all Delta out of LAX. Now, this is a little bit different because uh, this guy clearly had mental problems. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. he came aboard with uh, one of those uh, Army helmets. Uh, yeah, he yeah. Was wearing, and he had knee pads. Yeah, I really believe. strange. I mean, and the way he was ranting and raving, he was clearly... Kind of, uh, they shouldn't have let him. They shouldn't have let him on there. The second he walked on in the, yeah. the getup, they should yeah. have said, "No, nah, we're not yeah. doing this anymore." Now the other ones are mask issues. You're not going to force me to wear a mask. Yeah. And you have these passengers. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's easy to say, then get off the airplane. That's easy. It's your choice. Well, they want freedom, but they don't want the consequence of exercising freedom. It's like the uh, nurses at the hospital yeah. in Houston, right? They want to not take the vaccine, but they don't want anything to happen to their employment. Yeah. Sold for $28 million. So, 
so far, I have not seen who this person is. I guess they'll reveal who this auction winner is later on this week. But uh, the first seat on Jeff Bezos' spacecraft for this uh, trip out of to out of space to look at the beautiful views of Earth. Uh, the 11 minute flight on July 20th. The other seat so far is going to his brother Mark, and then there's one more seat that will be available. Now, I have, I have a question. $28 million for 11 minutes in space, okay? Uh, why don't you just take a real fast elevator a dozen times? <laughs> right. For 20 Because that's free. For, for $28 million, you can know. build a space simulator in your backyard and go I mean, on it all you want. It is so bizarre. It really is. As a matter of fact, coming up at 9.20, I'm going to talk about uh, how this new era of space tourism is uh, going to go. And it's real. It's just crazy. Yeah, but, not for, but for you, not for me. Oh, not yeah. For Layla, yeah. Not for John, yeah. not for me. Yeah. Yeah. Ordinary me. people will not be yeah. space tourists yeah. Uh, yeah. in the next hundred years, probably. Yeah. And I'm going to say I'm not going on that elevator. I'm going to spend millions of dollars going up in space. By the way, I have no desire to go in space at all. Oh, I'd go tomorrow. If, if Jeff so called me and boy. said, you want to be the seat number four, I'm like, yeah. yep, sign me up. And uh, veteran actor Ned Beatty has died at 83. He did regional theater for a while and then got cast in Deliverance. And I really... That was, was, break, that was his well, breakout role. It, it, it was, I think, his first it was. film credit. And it's haunted him. I use the word haunted his whole career because, first of all, we know what happens in Deliverance, and he is sodomized. Please forgive me. He's raped. sodomized by a hillbilly. So then he has this unbelievable career after that. He passes away, and everybody's saying Deliverance, Deliverance, Deliverance. Well, you know, that one line. If you're lucky, someone will mention Superman. What about right. his monologue in Network? Right, which but no one remembers one that. The greatest I film am. monologues in the history of entertainment. But no one remembers that. There are just a few lines that are just known in film lore. Like, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn, uh, which is known. And then squeal like a pig. Which is instantly what comes to mind, and that's unfair to him. It is. He was in. First of all, he was in a ton of stuff. Movies, right. TV, all over the place. All the presidents, men, the front page, uh, Bob Altman's Nashville, The Big Easy. And what I like about him is he didn't want to be the lead. He was the lead maybe two or three times in his career. He said, "When you're the lead, you can't throw the audience any curveballs with what you do. I like to be a smaller role because then I can throw curveballs all the time." He was so good. Average Coming up, UFOs. Oh, jeez. It starts all over again. Uh, I'm going to pretend I'm George Norrie uh, in uh, the next segment. And uh, the, the UFO people, you can tell I take, seri take this seriously. Well, they're, they're on a run, and uh, they actually have some credibility Average with the U.S. Average. government. I'll cover that when we come back. That yeah. is exciting. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is KFI AM 640 Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Opinion without the preach. KFI. And KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live.